My mom got a new purse. May I choke up all my? This is the one that she picked out. Yeah. Also, I've been seeing a lot of psychics. I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff. I don't know. I just love those witchery things. So uh, this is my post-workout. Today I did something light, which was me walking or jogging on the treadmill. I didn't feel like filming that because I feel like it's pretty boring and it's just literally me walking on the freaking treadmill. I have a little life update for you guys. I have a lot going on. You know, I need to catch you guys on some stuff that's been going on in my life. First, a word from our sponsor of the day is Water Drop. I have with me these micro lights. Here I have three flavors with me, but my favorite flavor that I'm going to be drinking is blueberry. I love anything that's blueberry, but I have lemon and grapefruit. Basically, it helps you replenish water and electrolytes during your workout, or you can drink it after your workout, which is what I'm doing. And can we talk about this really cute water bottle by Water Drop? I love anything cute like this. This is glass. So now I have my cute water bottle to take with me everywhere I go. These little baby microlites have five very valuable electrolytes in them and it also helps with muscle development and muscle recovery. Basically, your body will be able to replenish electrolytes faster and be able to absorb water a lot faster and quicker compared to just drinking tap water or distilled water. If you're interested, check out the link in my description box and use my code to get 15% off your entire purchase. Okay. Also, I've been seeing a lot of psychics. I don't know if you guys believe in that stuff. I don't know. I just love those witchery things. Some of the psychics are legit. Some are not. The last one that I went to, I don't think she's legit. For example, she talked about my dad and my relationship with my dad, but my biological dad, I have no relationship. <laughs> To my biological dad, my stepfather, who was more of a father figure to me, he is dead. She was just talking about my father as if he was still alive, and it was just none of it was true. My back situation, I basically stopped going to the gym completely. I think it's been like three weeks now. I can only like walk or jog on the treadmill. I can't really lift heavy things. Honestly, at this age, I'm young. None of this should be happening. So I really just like need to take a shell pill and just stop exercising because I don't want to throw on my back. Like when I was still going to the gym, my back was hurting, but it wasn't hurting that much. But I'm like, okay, like if it's been long enough, I should be healing. But no, she's still hurting. So I'm like, okay, fine. I'll just stop going to the gym completely. Stop lifting. I can only, I can only do cardio. And that's been helping. I feel like it doesn't hurt when I'm just standing here anymore. It does hurt when I put my leg up like this and I'm putting on my sock. I'm going back to Colorado this week. So, and my lease is up and I... <laughs> I need to look for a new apartment. I think that's it for my life update. I'm ready to go back to Colorado. Washington is really beautiful in the summer, but um, the fall, the fall is also very pretty, but like the rain, you guys, it makes me so depressed. Sometimes I'm like, do I have seasonal depression? I don't know, but the sun is just magnetic to me. I love seasons and I love it when it's cloudy, but not like when it's like nine months out of the year. Hi, baby Doug. He's getting better at using the doggy door. This is, Tosi is my landlord's golden retriever and literally these two are best friends and I'm heartbroken for Doug because he's gonna be losing yet another friend and I'm so sad for him. But they are just inseparable. They love each other so much. So I'm gonna use the doggy door. Yay, yay, good boy. Okay, enjoy the rest of the vlog. These are basically some footages that I was able to vlog and gathered within the last the last month or so. Every single time I would like pick up the camera, but then I would never finish the damn vlog. So I'm just gonna compile it and put it in this video. 
enjoy I'm with my mom today I went in and grabbed these sunnies because my eyes are really sensitive in the sun <laughs> My mom got a new purse. May I choke up all my? This is the one that she picked out. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see. She wanted to show that this is her old bag and it's like ripped apart. So we went and got her a new bag. No? Uh, your daughter burn money. No, that's my sister. Now we're gonna go to this little market. Like a little street market that my mom wanted to see. Uh, what is this? What is this? Uh, $15. We just got ripped off. We spent fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. <laughs> when they told us fifty dollars, I was like, no, absolutely not. I'm not spending fifty dollars on two things of fruit. But my mom was like, no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm gonna look for some snacks because I love trying out like new Asian snacks. It's my favorite thing to do. And then sometimes I would find the snacks that I used to eat when I was little. This store is not very big. Find if you're okay today? Yes. Oh, welcome in. This is what happens, okay? I would get ready for the gym and then by the time I get to the gym I get hungry again so I bought myself a slice of pizza before today's workout. So for the first exercise, we're gonna do three sets of 12 of lightweight hip thrusts. And then after that, we're moving on to cast glute bridge. So the confusion between traditional hip thrust versus cast glute bridge is like the hip thrust is like you get the full range of motion. But with the cast glute bridge, basically you get in the same stance, the same position there and everything, but you only go like halfway down. So it's only like half of a hip thrust. And then after that, we're moving on to moderate weight hip thrust. So I feel like with weight, it's like different for everybody because we all have like different anatomy and what's heavy for you or what's moderate for you might not be moderate or heavy for me. Gauge it yourself when it comes to weight and see how much you can handle.
feel so many things in my uterus right now. Like my back is hurting. Usually when I get my period, my back also hurts a lot. And for some reason wearing this belt just helps me not think about the pain just because something is like suffocating my midriff. And after that, I'm gonna do a little bit of cardio for this session. Cardio is optional. For some reason, just cardio and walking on treadmill in general helps me not feel my cramps as much. So that's what I'm gonna do. shopping and then I would keep putting off cooking just because genuinely I don't enjoy cooking like, like I'm forcing myself to like cooking but I just I don't okay it's a working process I would just keep putting it off until point of where the meat and everything start to go bad because I lost my sense of smell since I had COVID like in 2020 so like I could smell stuff barely but it has to be like really really close to my nose and even this I can't smell like I can't really smell rotten meat yeah I'm just gonna play it safe we're just gonna throw it out there's no expiration dates on these packages when you buy your meat just cook it right away for God's sake Thank you. 